Hi everyone, this is Hansi and welcome to a new video. Sorry for the long wait on this video, some stupid shit happened and we had to delay the video, but hey, we're back again! If you've been watching us for a while, you'll know this is the first time I bring you with me to the store. Filming in public is so awkward, I don't understand how big YouTubers does this all the time. So anyway, today we're gonna need some white spray paint and a large sheet of acrylic glass. Now let's see what we can do with this stuff. So, today we're building a ceiling lamp, and I'm gonna start out by building the frame. I've heard that reclaimed wood is the shit these days, so that's what we're gonna be using. As the box is going to be 124 by 84 centimeters, we're cutting two planks for each length. And by the way, that's 49 by 33 inches. America. As the planks are a little too wide, I'm taking all of them through the table saw, cutting off a little bit on both sides just to make it plain. The next thing we have to do is to cut 45 degree edges on each plank. That's to make them 90 degree angles when they're facing each other. Since it can be a little bit tricky to get the length right, I added some length as a failure margin when I cut them before. When that's done, we're gonna make some tracks in the wood that we can slide the acrylic into. We can do this by lowering the saw blade to half a centimeter and then run each plank over it, while making sure all the tracks will align later. To make the planks a little smoother and still keep that nice rustic look, we'll use a palm sander with 240 grit sandpaper. We're now gonna use this jig we made in a previous video to create two slots on each corner. Check it out if you wanna learn how to make it. The wood splines I used are actually just some free paint mixers I picked up at a hardware store. You can use about anything, as long as it's thin enough. Mine were a little wide so I had to file the slots a little bit. Before inserting them, I applied wood glue on both sides of the planks and clamped them together. The only thing left to do on the corner is to put some glue on the paint mixers and push them into the slots. I had to use a hammer to get them in, which isn't a bad thing, it just means they have a tight fit. I repeated this process on all corners, but I left out the last short plank to be able to slide the acrylic in. I'll get back to that part later. When all the glue has dried, we can just cut away the excess wood on the spline joints. Creating the spline joints was actually pretty easy, and that jig helped me out a lot. To make the edges look a little nicer, I went over them with a file and then sanded it down using an orbital sander. Then I just repeated this process on all sides of the box. I wasn't sure if I wanted to stain it or not, but in the end I went for this reddish brown stain to make it stand out. I applied it with a piece of cloth, but if you don't want to get dirty, you can of course use a brush as well. Okay, so we're more or less done with the frame itself, now we're gonna deal with the acrylic that we just bought. So I couldn't find any opaque acrylic, but that's the effect we're going for. So if you have opaque acrylic in the stores near you, that's probably the best option. But I'm gonna show you how to make regular transparent acrylic seem opaque. So I'll be starting out by sanding the acrylic with some lower grit sandpaper. Keep in mind that this acrylic is not pink, it's just a little protective layer that's put on top of it. As you can see here, I'm just applying some plastic primer. This is a great product if you want the paint to stick really well to the plastic. I guess you can call this step optional, but as I already had a plastic primer, I saw no reason not to use it. Now I'm just letting it dry for a couple of minutes. Okay, so the key challenge now is to apply a thin layer of white spray paint as evenly as possible. A good tip to make it even is to repeat it many times with several super thin layers. Keep in mind that this will only make it opaque from one side, that's the opposite side of the one we're spray painting. So now we can push the acrylic into the frame, making sure it's all the way in. Then we can apply some strong glue into the track on the plank that we left out before. If we just pressure it while it's drying, it should stick to it really hard. And then we will have an easy handle to pull out the acrylic of the frame when it's fastened. Before we start making the actual light, we can mount the frame in the ceiling. I'm going to do it the easy way, using metal angles. With some help from Martina, it was actually pretty easy to install. In fact, the hardest part was to make sure it stayed in shape when placing it. But after adjusting it a little bit, I think we got it. It can be a good idea to go over and check that both of the sides are equally long, just to be entirely sure that everything is straight. So the next thing we need to do is to create the LED panel that will be the light source of this lamp. As we have an entire video dedicated to showing how an LED panel can be made, I will not be going through that now. 
but the rough specifications of the LED panel is that I use 7 lengths of cold white and 7 lengths of warm white LED strips, and then I just place them in between each other on a thin piece of plywood. It's very simple and there's no magic here. Also there's a ton of YouTube videos on the same subject. I have a wooden ceiling, so I could just use a couple of short screws to place it inside the frame. The power cable is not visible here, but it goes out on the back of the lamp and extends to a power supply I have on the wall. Now that the LED panel is mounted, we can test the lamp. Not exactly beautiful yet, but at least it works. All that remains now is to take off the pink protective film on the acrylic panel and slide it into the slots on the frame. And that's pretty much it, the lamp is done. So now let's take a quick look at how it turned out. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.